Hello, in this video we're going to do a linear algebra proof. This is the type of proof that is usually done in um, elementary linear algebra when you're first learning. It's not a hard proof, so I'm going to write a very careful proof in this video of this statement. So let's do it. Proof. So we have to prove if the determinant of A is not zero and AB is equal to AC, then B is equal to C. So this is what we have to assume. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and write that down again. I'm gonna say suppose that the determinant of A is not zero and AB equals AC. And we have to show now that B is equal to C. So we know something here. We know the determinant of A is not equal to zero. So since the determinant of A is not zero, that tells us that A has an inverse. Then A inverse exists. We can use it freely throughout our proof. We have this new creature that has arisen in our proof, the inverse of A. And we knew that existed because the determinant was not zero. So we have this to work with. And we're trying to show B is equal to C. And we know that AB is equal to AC. So what we can do now is we can multiply by A inverse on the left uh, on this equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So then we have A inverse times AB equals A inverse times AC. But matrix multiplication is associative, so I'm going to say it. So since matrix multiplication is associative, we can rewrite um, our equation as follows. This is going to be A inverse A, B and over here it'll be A inverse A, C. And A inverse A is equal to the identity. Okay, so, no, so I'm just gonna put a comma just right, right below it to I, B. This is pretty clear, uh, and this is I, C. All right, that's just because A times A inverse is the identity. And because it's the identity, if you take any matrix and you multiply it by the identity, you're just gonna get back your matrix. So this is B, equals C. And that completes the proof, my friends. So just a fun little linear algebra proof that hopefully if you're watching this video, maybe um, you had had to do this. It was a uh, something that you saw in a class or something. You didn't understand it or, or it was an exercise and it didn't have an answer in the back of the book. Um, very common problem. And again, you just basically start by assuming this part here. If the determinant of A is not zero, and AB equals AC, and then you go through some steps and you show B is equal to C. This is really a, what I like to call like a one-way proof. I mean, you, you write down your hypothesis and then you just say, what do you know about these things? Well, you know this means something here. And so we wrote that down. Now that we have that and we have AB equals AC, we can use that to, to retrieve B uh, via some matrix algebra, and then we have B equals C. So. Yeah, kind of fun. I hope it's been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.